I was out on the west coast trying to make a buck. Things didn't work out and I was down on my luck. I got tired of roaming and bumming around, so I started thumbing back east towards my hometown. Made a lot of miles the first two days and I figured I'd be home in a week if my luck held out this way. But the third night I got stranded, way out of town. The cold, lonely crossroads, the rain was pouring down. I was hungry and freezing and caught a chill when the lights of a big semi topped the hill. Lord, I was sure glad to hear them air brakes come on as I climbed in the cab where I knew it'd be warm. At the wheel sat a big man. He weighed about 210. He stuck out his hand and he said with a grin, Big Joe's the name, and I told him mine. He said, the name of my rig is the Phantom 309. I asked him why he called his rig such a name. And he said, son, this old Mac would put them all to shame. Ain't a driver or a rig running any line that's seen nothing but taillights from the Phantom 309. Well, we rode and talked the better part of the night, and when the lights of the truck stop came into sight, he said, I'm sorry, son, this is as far as you go, because I've got to make a turn just on up the road. Well, he tossed me a dime as he pulled her into low and said, have yourself a hot cup on big old Joe. And then Joe and his rig roared out into the night and in nothing flat, he was out of sight. Well, I went inside and I ordered me a cup and I told the waiter that Big Joe was setting me up. Well, you could have heard a pin drop. It got deathly quiet. The waiter's face turned kind of white. Well, did I say something wrong? I said with a halfway grin. He said, no, this happens every now and then. Every driver in here knows of Big Joe. But son, let me tell you what happened about 10 years ago. At the crossroads tonight where you flagged him down, there was a busload of kids coming home from town. They were right in the middle when Big Joe topped the hill and it could have been slaughter turned his wheels. Well, Big Joe lost control and went into a skid, and he gave his life to save that bunch of kids. And there at the crossroads was the end of the line for Big Joe and the Phantom 309. But every now and then some hiker will come by, and like you, Big Joe will give him a ride. Here, have another cup and forget about that dime can keep that as a souvenir from Big Joe and the Phantom 309.